If you have ever been to Victoria Falls, Kariba Dam, Kariba Lake, or generally that area, then you have probably heard of the Zambezi River Guard Nyami Nyami. You've probably also seen people in stores selling Nyami Nyami necklaces, Nyami Nyami bracelets, Nyami Nyami earrings, and the Nyami Nyami walking stick. So I've been interested in African mythology and in particular pre-colonization. So I looked into Nyami Nyami and I looked into who he really is and where he came from and I found that he has a very interesting story. So this is that video. So who is Nyami Nyami? In African mythology of the local Tonga people of the tribe of Sambezi Valley, they state that Nyami Nyami is the river god and he lives in Lake Kariba and is believed to be a serpent-like creature. He has a snake body and the head of a dragon or a fish. He's said to be about three meters wide, which is insane to me because I thought that he was like a, a small snake, but he's three meters wide and nobody knows his length because he's always underwater. So Nyami Nyami has appeared to several of the local Tonga people and he's always described as either appearing as a whirlwind or others say that he appears with a snake body and a fish head. It's difficult to say how big he is because he's never fully shown himself to anybody but legend has it that the water turns red when Nyami Nyami sw like swims past and the locals and the elders and the chiefs have seen him but the river god has been in hiding ever since the colonizers arrived which was around November 17th of 1855 when David Livingstone discovered Victoria Falls even though Tonga people had been there for centuries so Nyami Nyami lives under a large rock close to the present day Kariba Dam. They called the rock Kariwa the trap because anyone who went too close to that rock would suddenly disappear and they would just disappear into the whirlwind. So they, they named the lake and the dam after this rock Kariwa, Kariba. So the Tonga people are protected by Nyami Nyami, who is their ancestral spirit. And the interesting thing is that Nyami Nyami would feed them from his own meat in times of hunger. They would go to the water and cut pieces of Nyami Nyami's body and eat it. Okay, so my theory is that they're getting fish, right? and they're eating it in remembrance of nyami nyami like how in christianity people eat bread and wine in remembrance of christ kind of makes sense to me but don't quote me it's just my theory so the donga people they also believe that nyami nyami is married to a mermaid who also lives in zambezi river but I don't think that she has ever been cited or at least there's no record of it on the internet that I could find. So yeah, that's that. Um, Nyami Nyami is also believed to protect the Tonga people and give them sustenance in difficult times. The river god is usually portrayed as male. Um, so people can carry Nyami Nyami as pendants on jewelry usually carved out of wood or stone or bone sometimes ivory silver gold as accessories for fashion but mostly as a good luck charm because you know he brings them safety and stuff so a Kariba resident desi designed like a walking stick that incorporates some motifs of the area and the Tonga lifestyle and so the stick right it has a handle and the handle represents nyami nyami the spirit god who's used to provide meat to his people and whenever he'd appear they would like get some meat from him and then there's the sign of a hand which represents the holding of a magic ball that is used by Tonga 
fortune tellers to guard off evil spirits. They have fortune tellers with magical balls. Like, there's figures which represent people of the Zambezi River during um, their ceremonial dances, and then they have wooden rings on the Nyami Nyami stick, which represent the bangles worn by Donga women as a decoration during the ceremonial dances. Yeah. And so finally, the women's bubble pipe, which is called Inerwa, is normally a long pipe made from a calabash and it's used by Donga people for smoking tobacco and marijuana, which is actually like part of the Donga tradition. So basically they get meat from the spirit god, they have special ceremonial bangles and dances, they have fortune tellers and they're always like smoking. Donga culture sounds like really cool. <laughs> so in 1956, the colonizers decided that the Zambezi River should be a major source of hydroelectric power for both Zimbabwe and Zambia. The Tonga were told that they would have to leave their traditional homes on the valley floor as they would be flooded by the rising waters and they would be relocated on onto higher ground far from the villages on the Zambezi River and where they had lived mainly from fishing and now they had to learn to survive by growing crops. So they moved 22,000 people in Zimbabwe and 29,000 people in the Zambia, in Zambia. And most of the Tonga people believed that Nyami Nyami, the river god, would not approve at all. Nyami Nyami had lived upstream with his wife on the Zambian shore, but the construction of the dam wall would separate them and he would destroy the wall in, in revenge. So the Donga were being relocated in many cases against their will. And in the spirit of resistance, they invoked their spiritual protector Nyami Nyami whether it was his spirit being invoked by the locals or his own frustration and anger at being separated from his wife, 1957 and 58 were difficult for the construction of the Kariba Dam. Uh, a thousand year flood was recorded in Zambezi Valley in 1957 and construction was halted by flood damage. Local Donga people nodded saying, we told y'all and during the next rainy season another flood happened and it was less violent than the previous slide but the Donga elders claimed that the dam wall still stands only because of their intervention. It is the traditional role of tribal like the tribal elders and leaders to speak on behalf of the inhabitants of that area whenever Nyami Nyami is angry or enraged. So some of those who were killed were um, white Italians whose body disappeared and there was an extensive search and they failed to find them and so the Tonga people were asked to assist because they were the tribesmen and they knew that area very well. And so they explained that Nyami Nyami had caused this disaster in order to appease his wrath and they needed to make a sacrifice in order to, you know, to appease him. So they weren't taken seriously, but through desperation, the relatives of the missing workers were due to arrive to claim the bodies of their loved ones and so the search party agreed in the hopes that the tribesmen would know that the bodies were likely to have to have been washed up in which areas so a black calf was slaughtered and it was floated on the river the next morning the calf was gone and the workers were in the place of the calf. So the disappearance of the calf isn't really mysterious because there are crocodiles in the Zambezi River, 
but the sudden reappearance of the workers bodies after they had disappeared for a few days it just can't be explained they suddenly appeared after that disaster um, the flow patterns of the river were studied and they were quite certain that the likelihood of another flood was not going to happen like not as bad as that one because that kind of flood only happens every thousand years but the very next rainy season brought even more floods even worse than the previous year and it was Nyami Nyami. Nyami Nyami destroyed the coffer dam. He destroyed the access bridge and part of the main wall. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. I think it's Nyami Nyami. The project survived and the river ended up being controlled. In 1960, the generators were switched on and it supplied electricity to both Zimbabwe and Zambia ever since to this day. So the Dunga people now live on the shores of the Kariba River, the Kariba Lake, and it, they still believe that Nyami Nyami will one day fulfill his promise and will return back to the homes of the bank of the river and he will, you know, no longer be separated by the wall. And they believe that the frequent earth tremors that you feel when you're around that area are caused by the spirit trying to reach his wife and one day he will destroy the dam. During the next rainy season, the region saw even worse floods than those of the previous year, as was to be expected by the Tonga people who believed that Nyami Nyami had struck again. This time, the flood swept away Italian, 11 Italian builders. Their bodies were later discovered part, like in partially wet cement in the dam wall. And after making his calculations, the chief project engineer decided that it would be more structurally sound to leave the bodies plastered on the wall than to make an attempt to remove them. So today their bodies are part of the dam wall. Their bodies were just never removed. After the dam was completed, the Donga believed that Nami Nami withdrew from the world of men. Like he went back into his spiritual realm. And so finally in December 1958, the Kariba Dam was completed, but not before it cost the lives of 80 people. 80 people in total died when building the dam. Nami Nami looks over the lower Zambezi Kariba Dam today. Donga people today, Kariba locals and visitors look forward to September each year as the Nami Nami festivals are held to venerate the river god. A depiction of Nami Nami was erected near the dam wall, so you can see that if you ever go to Kariba Dam. The Nami Nami is the ruler of the water and his symbol is worn to like ward of evil spirits and to contact wealth for kayakers rafters surfers the metaphor <laughs> the metaphor extends to like good paddling and like safety and yami yami is like a mediator between the people and god oh my gosh and some say that he grows angrier and angrier every year and it's just a matter of time before he unleashes his devastating power so that he can one day reunite with his love so i don't know what you guys think but all i'm saying is that kariba dam has been cracking like as recently as 2019 and the government is continuously raising money and trying to get the wall fixed and making sure that it doesn't break down i'm not saying it's nyami nyami but like it might be nyami nyami <laughs> thank you for watching this is the end of the video 
leave a like comment subscribe share bye